approve the minutes. I'll make the motion, Mr. President. We shall motion to approve. Is there a second? Ed, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Mayor's report. My turn? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I won't take a lot of your time up, Jim, and folks, because uh, I, I no, no, I'm just saying, a lot of your, I'm just saying, folks, because a lot of this stuff's already been discussed. That's what, that's what I'm going to tell you. We've had 12 citations is, issued and four written warnings. Uh, there's a, uh, I don't know if somebody came to your house selling, trying to sell books. Recently, there's a young man going around a college trying to sell books for a company. I informed him he needs to have a permit, so I, you know. Did he look legit? I know it's hard to say. Yeah, he, he was, I got to him for 15 minutes on my front porch. He was okay. fine. But I told him, I said, you have to apply for a permit. So that's uh, how they're working on grass and leaves and all that good stuff that we always do. That's all I have, sir. Thank you. He said he would get a permit. He pretty much. I told him that he's not. This he's not. Yeah, so he, so he goes back and see me for a permit. He's going to call his company and work. Oh, he's not a school kid selling. No, no, no. He's not a company. Oh, he's, okay. he's selling them he's 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 through a school. This is right. Uh, committee reports. Uh, Nancy could not be here. She is the chair of the Shank Tree Committee, but she jotted me down some notes. Uh, there's a tree on 154 Summit Avenue. Uh, she could not site visit herself. It snapped a, uh, a branch from the tree and was on her property. And uh, she called Bernie, Bernie went up, check it out. The tree limb has been cut down, it's still laying there. Is there, what does that do, Bob? Can we remove that tree, or does someone want it for firewood, or? It's gone. It, oh, it's gone now? Good, thank you. Because it was a mess, because okay. we spent about three weeks working on this payroll issue that we're not going to rehash, that we're okay. not quite done with that. Then we went back to working on the regular part of the audit, and the expenditures are out of balance by 700 and something. I don't know. We're off 700 and some dollars to the bank statement, so we've got to go through and find okay. it because we have to match in to the expenditures per the bank statement. And account for all the money okay, that we're right, not. Right, so, but not, none of the delay was caused by the taxes and the fines that we're waiting from this. Yeah. But that, that'll be paid out of the 2013 cash flow, so that doesn't impact the but 2012 we to and figure out, budget, correct? Well, there is a real good chance that the W-2s are also incorrect. So we're trying to work through some issues. Because when we give it back to the borough, we want it to be... Correct, because the, I know that, I, we're trying to make sure everything is completely correct when we give it back to well, the Well, that's what an auditor's task is, I mean, that's why you're auditors. Yes. Okay, but I just didn't want, I just don't want this to be delayed any further because no, we, it's not a 2013 issue. This is no, we spent time working on the payroll trying to get that all fixed, and then after three weeks, we work two or three nights a week on this for two or three hours a night. We all have real jobs and yeah, but as you know. says, we too. I, and so then we went back to working on the regular portion of the audit. And now we're off seven hundred and okay. some dollars. All right. And, okay, you obviously really uh, we issued a extension. And what's yeah. that extension of? Whenever we turn it in. The CED yeah, that they no deadlines They're aware that it's for an audit. But I, I thought it was stated in the yeah, it's supposed it was 30 to be. days from year end. No. no. I'm sorry, 90 days from year end. Yes. Okay, so then 
Is that when we file for There's no deadline then on the extension. I see. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. All right. Thank you. So we would I, like I, to be done with it as long as well as everybody else. So. Okay. And, and if it if it's done before next month, the regular scheduled meeting, do you want to call a special meeting? Um, well, be that's, nice. we talked about that, but we don't want to tell you tonight, oh, well, we'll be done next Thursday. No, that's fine. And not that's, be able to figure it out. Well, no, you, they only need uh, how many days in the newspaper to schedule 24 hour notice for special, the newspaper. You know, so, I mean, I, if we can work it in, fine. If not, fine. Just keep that yeah, as an option. We'll just let you know right. as soon as we're done. All right, thank we're, you. We would like to be done. Okay. Uh, uh, unfinished business. Any other unfinished business? <coughs> okay, new business. I have something to do. All right, back to the back, back to our properties for the grass cut. All right, is there a list of properties <laughs> that we mow, and they're approximate acre, acreage? I thought one acre that we have burning. I don't know. See, but what would? Okay, nobody's mowing the grass yet. Okay, these properties, and there's neighbors beside these properties. All right, and it looks hideous. All right, so we can maybe we'll, we'll schedule a special meeting for. I want to put the, the grass cutting from these properties out to bid, okay? And but I'll need a list. I need to drive around, ride around with somebody, and they need to show me these properties, okay? And I'll list them, and then when put out for bid, then these companies will know what they're bidding on, how much acreage you're bidding on, and whether it's flat. This, that, these, or those. Okay, who, who, who can help me with that? You could gather a list of the invoices that I've got in this last year or so. Okay, all right. But that, properties. the Smith property is off now. Yeah, uh -huh. it doesn't give signs of Well, I can get that. But I can get that off of something else. Yeah, please do. But I'm going to put that out to bid. As soon as I get that in my hand, we'll call a special meeting and we'll put that to the bid. I mean, I've moved my grass four times already. None of these other properties. Yeah, really. Only four. You slacker. I hope you're including on Butler Road, too, where I've been over a year bringing yes. that up. Yes. Thank you. Who knows it now? Who's, uh, who's the contractor? Who's Toys Landscape? But I think we should put out for bid. I mean, there's a lot of companies yeah, out there. A lot there. of companies out there. All right. So I, I want to do that. All right. Give me that list. Okay. okay any other new business that I'm not thinking of? Okay. Cliff? Yes. Just about the grass thing. Being that we're not sure and, and Andrew's going to check on the liens on the Smith property, can we find out what find out what is the proper way to make sure that if we're going to not ever be able to recoup on the 25, what? figure out exactly how do we have to yeah, file a lien? Yeah, I think Andrew, Andrew, Andrew that you, have to file, you have to make sure that you revive it every five years. If, if the See, property isn't that. sold, that's what you have to do. Okay, you have to make sure you have the right owner when you file the first one. Okay, but what happens is if it's sold, how do we know if it, it, it's it sold It shouldn't be able to be sold because they have to come. They have to ask for a no lien letter from the Bora, and the Bora secretary won't send the no lien letter to the whoever is handling the closing. Then they won't. They so won't, there's a set the transaction will not be completed. It there's a set be. procedure. That's are how, following that's how, or not that's following? That's how I yeah, internally, yeah, internally, whenever we get invoices for mowing, I'll hand them over to the, to the solicitor, he'll file the liens and give me a copy, and I keep it with the invoice. And anytime I get a request for a no lien letter, I check the address against the current liens I have. That's how all the, they all do it. Okay, so all the right, so not, to, not to beat a dead horse, so how did that happen? Explain to me in simple terms, not legal terms. Honestly, I don't know. The only okay, all right, so that's what you're going to look into. into. <laughs> yeah, I've okay. got more. Right. So well, I, I feel like right. something was... Can I try to help you out? What's wrong with the name? Too. Because the property owner, then it went to a bank, and if it's transferred to another bank, and like you said earlier, because the name ain't on yeah. it, that's how it gets slipped through the cracks. Yeah. That's what I think happened, but I... Yeah. How do we know that? Ownership like that. It's the registry. Well, I haven't probably investigated it to stand on it. Well, you don't. You can't do that. 
No, it's not. Sure the clear title to that, that the Smith property like was a nightmare yeah. because yeah. she said in tax claim it was listed as Taylor Bean. Yeah. 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 I went yeah. 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 up for sheriff's sale. They should the sheriff's office told me they didn't know which bank held the title because it was because it was unclear because it had been foreclosed and one bank was bought by another. What happened? What happened was one of whether I think Taylor Bean and Whitaker. I forget who took over them. Maybe it was Bank of America who took over all of handling or servicing of all of their loans because they went bankrupt or whatever. I don't know what happened to them. But there was no, there wasn't a transaction uh, in the recorder's office. There was nothing recorded to record that. that they were doing that. I just found that out by looking on the internet, I think. Maybe that's well, the people that would go over there and work on that place because the the water wasn't shut off and it flooded, and so they had to rip out a bunch of stuff in there that was soaking wet. I walked across the street and asked who owned it, and the people doing the work didn't know. So everybody's getting the wolf boiler, I think. Yeah, and then it ended up with hot. Is it hot now? Well, well no. Like it was just sold. But that's too hot. Well, 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 that too hot just sold it to an individual. Oh, like okay. It didn't do bad for them. But doesn't the county have that lien to get down to the register of the court? Isn't that down at the county office? Saying yeah. That yeah, but if it's recorded wrong, it doesn't matter. Who would be recorded, recorded on that? Well, it's recorded, their fault. It's recorded yeah. incorrectly, then. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's really nothing we can do. Who's fault would that be? Would that be the county? Don't they county? need it? No, uh, it's whatever information they get. Yeah, it's just whatever information they get. All right. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, you know. It's just like a decent thing. They're spelling name. They're not allowed to change it. All right, this well, time I need a motion to pay the bills. Then I handed them the papers. Why do you say, so where's your magistrate? The motion is for counsel to pay the bills. So, I'm going to make a motion to pay the bills. So, I'm going to make a motion to pay the bills. Second by. Second by. Oh, see, it might be a Jackson. I'll make a motion to pay the bills. Second by Michelle. Yes, you did. All right, second by Ed. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Uh, before I ask for a motion for adjournment, okay, I just want to say, I was, other than one incident tonight, I was pleasantly surprised how this meeting went by council and by the audience, okay? And, and as long as the meetings are like this, there's no reason why we can't have meetings like this in the future. All right, yeah, people went past for five minutes, this, but it was all good information. It wasn't personal attacks. It wasn't accusations. And, and I just want to thank everybody in the audience for doing that. Okay, and I want to thank counsel also. Other than one, I'm going to let one bad happen. Incident spoiled much, so. Okay, motion to adjourn. No, wait, wait. Oh. Playground, wait. This is, this is important. Oh. The playground issue. When what playground issue? Which one? The, the new playground we put in, it's down there. No, 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 which You're issue, not which playground. <laughs> <laughs> when the grant stuff is up the end of June, and if yeah. we don't have everything done and have it inspected, we don't get the rest of our money. Right, I'm working on it. Okay. Because Jen Bellis is off on duty <coughs> now, so I'm working she with Carmen to get her all the information. She sent me a list of the Yeah, because they were up here like six or eight months ago and looked at it and gave us a list at that point what else needed yeah. done. Yeah, so. Has the work been completed? Yes, aside from engineers' review and approval of the project, pretty much everything else is me compiling information to send in. Okay, because them. that's the rest of that grant is like 17 grand. Excuse me. Yeah, to be used in what? Mm -hmm. To help us pay the bill, we have to pay for the equipment that we have. And if we don't have it done, then we lose out the money. Okay, this is the time I'd like a motion for adjournment. No sidebars until the week is over. You have to freeze in that day. Michelle, motion. Is there a second? Ed? All in favor? Library We adjourn. Thank <laughs> you.